literally right next to a sign that says fishing area. Oh, there's one. Got it. Oh, there's a fish right there on a bed. All right, y'all, you need to take a look at this. This is what I was talking about the last video. Got him. Throw that little finesse on him. Little finesse on him. Just a little guy. Little guy, but he was right by the boat and he was he was fun. You were fun. Part of that new wave that's coming up here to spawn, sir. Oh yeah. See ya. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Starting the day off with a catch here. Go ahead and hit the like button for that. Today's Outdoor Greatness is brought to you by Favorite Fishing USA, y'all. If you watch any of the videos from the Big Sexy Line uh, down to the White Birds, which are, uh, you know, are an entry level rod that everybody can afford, all the way up to uh, premium, super light, super sensitive rods, Favorite's got you. So, links down in the description if you want to check it out, and specifically, if you want to check out the LFG Make Every Cast Count series rod that I use just about every day. So thank you Favorite Fishing USA and we are working on more stuff with them as we speak. More models, more dangles. When I left you guys off last time, I was catching a lot of fish, a lot of numbers. And as we kind of got to the afternoon, uh, fish started really bedding up. The male bass started uh, bedding up. The one that I just caught, uh, literally, I mean, it's just bedding. Um, so the, the full moon has passed, the storms have stopped, and now that the water is stabilized, even though it flooded a little bit, it's stabilized, these fish are moving up into that brush around the bank, just new cover. I'm gonna go try to figure those fish out, and if that pattern is not good, is, is, is spawning fish can be tough. If that's not savvy enough, I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna explore some other patterns and try to get on uh, the most fish and the biggest fish that I can. I think we're gonna have a good time together today, y'all. Let's go give it a dang call. Ooh, I just heard something get slurped on another bank. Y'all, the technique that I'm using here because it is just such a clear water lake as I'm going wacky style with these shallow fish using a stick bait. Amazing springtime lure. The key is just finding the right banks that have the right steep steepness and hardness. Seeing a few cruising in the shallows, I just break it out and I start making cast lateral to the bank and just working it kind of slow they are in there another one by that isolated tree little guy whoa whoa where are you going there sir these suckers are fighting hard there we go okay a little bit bigger than the last one See ya. Isolated tree right there. He just picked it up. There's one. Oh, lost it. I was looking at one right under this tree. Call me confident, but I think there's going to be one on this point. Nice hard point that juts out. second yeah you're little you're little but I knew you were gonna be there ah and I bet there is another one by this isolated tree again it's about time to retie okay let's cover a little bit more water here Oh, 
Oh, the fish was like sitting there with it. I was about to lift up my rod for another cast. That's a spotted bass there. Healthy spotted bass. Pick up the wacky here. There is going to be one in here on the wacky. Oh gosh. Wow, that's wow. No way. Wow. That's a little one there. That's a that's a tiny one. Big, small, I sniff them all though. A couple of little fish right there. Nothing Instagram worthy, I guess you could say. There's a little afternoon wind picking up, or at least where I am right now. I'm kind of torn if I should keep going to pocket, back to pockets, or if I should try something more main lake. I really have not explored a lot of this lake. One more pocket up here that looks pretty good. It's got an actual creek running in it, like that one. That usually will mean there's a, a deeper channel, a deeper cut. Uh, when I get into the flat areas, no, that's a no-go. But if there's a steeper bank, there's protection, good hard bottom, they're doing it. There's a good one. There's a good one. Oh, God, it broke me off. Oh, I should have retied. Oh, that's a foolish mistake. I caught a bunch of fish on that, on that same deal earlier, and one wrapped me around a tree, and I didn't retie. And, well, that's what you get. That was a better fish. Steeper bank. Um, literally right next to a sign that says fishing area i guess the state of oklahoma puts in some brush or something like that deems some sites as uh fishing areas may have to look at that with the electronics for the crappie times oh there's one got it much much smaller that drag adjusted just right oh it's a spotted bass I think yep it's a spotted bass hey there feller man spotted bass just feel rougher They're like a snake Their scales are gnarly pretty awesome fish See you, dude. Beautiful. Wow, look at this water flowing in. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, it's majestic. Dragonflies running around. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing a lot of bass moving right now. Oh my gosh, left their own bank right there on the bank god just had one on a bed right there god there's so many fish in here like there's hundreds of fish back in this pocket god. all little males getting ready to spawn and then there's some species back here i don't even know what it is it could be like a sauger Something like that, I've never caught before. I kinda wanna figure out how to catch them. Oh, there's another one. Golly, they're packed in here like sardines. Yep, y'all are just sardines. Oh, daggum, I lost my lure. Whoa, look at you, 
you true largemouth. That is a largemouth bass, northern, northern largemouth. Beautiful. Oh, there he is. Ooh. Line there. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, I lost him. Tad gummit. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, you never lose him on that single hook like that. Mm. That was the best fish I've had the whole the whole trip. Y'all, I think backs backs of the pockets for the largemouth. That pocket right there was a hot pocket. Hashtag hot pocket. I lost two good ones in there. So that makes me think that is the right thing to do. That was, I mean, I was seeing swarms of fish in the very back of the creek after the rain. Man, good decision to come up here instead of fishing the mud holes. But I don't have much sun left. So I'm gonna head closer to the ramp. This lake is huge. I wanna make sure I'm not lost out here. Okay, y'all see that island right there. Since it is just so crowded, everyone has, uh, has decided to come camp up here. I don't blame them. It's a great place to come camping. But since I have a boat and there's an island right there that has camping on it, but you can't get to it because the rest of it's flooded only by boat, it's over bullet access. I'm just gonna go up to my truck. I'm gonna get my pack, put it in this boat, go over here and I'm gonna spend the night on this island. I got a boat, I got a tent, here for me. Got our pack, got our firewood. It's looking like it's gonna be a mountain house meal, but that's that's okay. I need to get used to those. Um, that's what I'm gonna be eating on the mountain in New Zealand for, um, for quite a long time, like eight or nine days. And there's home for tonight. I don't think I could pick a better place to sleep tonight. I'm on my own island, so I don't have to worry about uh, people coming and poking me with sticks at night. I pretty much just have the basics in here. I try to pack this out like I am uh, in New Zealand. So I've got my clothes, which all these are real packable. I've got two, believe it or not, a puffy pant, a puffy jacket, uh, underwear, socks, like pretty much everything. Uh, for a, a mountain hunt in there besides rain gear, which is in the top here and then I've got My tent the tent is a is a two-man. I got a two-man because I'm going with another guy, but <laughs> Not say we're gonna sleep together. I'm just saying because I got a lot of stuff one thing I did forget and I'm just realizing that Is my sleeping pad now this is gonna suck. I had this big, luxurious sleeping pad. It fit, like the whole thing fit inside of here. Filled up the whole, it was, uh, I'm gonna have to fashion myself some sort of sleeping pad. I've got rocks right here, uh, which don't really feel too good on the old back. Anyways, we're gonna get this tent up and then uh, we're just gonna prepare our minds and bodies to sleep on the rocks. Straight up rock is just, it's just a no-go. A little softer, a little muddy, but it's gonna have to do. Also, there's uh, someone, someone's random sock there. Okay. There's our Motel Kuyu for the night. So, our cooking system for tonight is going to be a portable burner, a little portable propane, Coleman. This is a portable camping stove. Pretty neat little unit here. I've got an adapter, you know, so I can put this on my big, my big propane or, uh, or my, my little one right here. This is what we're gonna be carrying up in New Zealand. I can turn this on with a little, uh, pressure right there and then light it up. 
And then uh, let's get into what we're having to eat tonight. A little mountain house. Who hasn't had them a nice old mountain house? Jeez. I don't think I've ever had a mountain house. I've had an MRE before, but never a mountain house. My choices are rice and chicken or spaghetti. <sighs> what would you have? Let me know in the comments. I think I'm gonna go with some spaghetti. 12 grams of protein, 2.5 servings in an entree. Well, I'm gonna have them all. Cool thing about these is you can put boiling water inside of it and then you let it sit, it cooks, and uh, you're basically cooking inside of the package. So, just gotta boil some water. Should be two cups, 16 ounces. Enriched spaghetti, durum wheat, Somalian and nice and fresh vibe, thiamine monotriate, riboflavin, folic acid, tomato paste, cooked beef, beef flavoring, and salt. Boy, you know, when you really can't read everything on there, it's gonna be a tasty treat in your gut later. It could go two ways in your bowel, in your bowels, you know. It could go, it speed things up or it could slow things down. I don't know. No camp would be complete without a little fire, just to light the mood. Well, after about burning my fingers off, going through some waterproof matches, regular matches, and then some uh, fire starters, I finally got a fire started. But right now, let's uh, let's enjoy ourselves a mountain house. It's been stewing in there for about eight minutes inside of its own bag. Scope out the digs. It's time to sleep under the stars. No sleeping pad. Well, it does smell like spaghetti, given that. My buddy was telling me to get an extra long spoon for this journey, and now I know why. See that short spoon? Just goes way down in there. Gets your knuckles all sketty, sketty up. Okay, here we go. Wow. What's those things we used to eat when we were kids? Spaghettios? Sp Spaghettios? That's exactly what it tastes like. Spaghettios. That is not bad. I can, I can get down with this. I'm gonna be all right. About this ground situation though. Now that I got a belly full of freeze-dried spaghetti, it's time to retire. So I ended up devising a sleeping pad. I went and got my boat cover. So the boat cover is under there. I've got my, uh, my charger. Got my Garmin unit. Oh, my phone's not even working right now, so that's how I can text stuff. I've got the pillow. I've got the sleeping bag. I've got extra clothes in here for padding, and I've got my backpack. And um, there's a lot of room. It's got these little vents too that I can open it up, but um, it's probably about 65 degrees outside. It feels really good. And I think I'm gonna be okay without the sleeping pad, uh, the boat cover rolled it up and I think that's gonna work so we're gonna be okay thanks for coming along on today's adventure y'all and it is an adventure go ahead and hit the like button for camping on an island and going fishing early in the morning it's good outdoor greatness just got a text back from Steph I'm gonna text her back and then I'm gonna lay my head down and prepare for outdoor greatness in the morning y'all it's gonna be beautiful come along subscribe right here so you don't miss the next one and I'll see you then